So I'd like to do some type of cheese filling, I think, and I'll use up, oh, that's a very loud sound of the toilet flushing. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Lauren from Hot For Food, back with another recipe. I know you love these ones. We're gonna make something up from scratch with whatever I've got in the fridge and in the cupboards. I really, I'm not inspired yet. I gotta go through the fridge. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what we're gonna make, but hopefully we'll come up with something tasty, tasty in the end. So let's go rummaging, shall we? Okay. Lots of stuff. As you know, I've been working on a cookbook, so I have lots of remnants of things lying around. Uh, for instance, this sauce here, a spicy peanut sauce. Oh, I'm giving away recipes in the cookbook. But anyway, we could use that for something. These are sauces you've seen on my personal YouTube channel as well. Leftover mashed turnip. That doesn't sound nice. Leftover cabbage. We've got some mushrooms. We've got various forms of veggie bacon in here, like tofu bacon, portobello mushroom bacon. I've got a smidgen of pumpkin puree left. I got lots of veggies. There's lots of food in here. We could really go anywhere. Lentils, leftover lentils. Oh Lord, I'm gonna have to think really hard today. Somebody did just ask me to try and make stuffed mushrooms. So this could be what we do. I also found that I have herb and garlic cream cheese in the fridge, so that could be the stuffing. I'm listening to you, we're gonna do stuffed mushrooms. And this will be more like an appetizer because I don't have a ton of mushrooms here. I've never made stuffed mushrooms, I always felt like they were hard to get everything stuffed in there. But I'm thinking I wanna fry them. I'm thinking I wanna like stuff them, coat them in breadcrumbs, fry them, because that's really the best way. I don't really wanna bake them. The mushroom gets all spongy and dried out if you do that. All right, we're gonna start with this cream cheese. So I have the smallest amount of pumpkin puree left. I'm just gonna add that in there because I wanna use it up. All right, this is an extra little bit of pumpkin gravy I made. It's got miso, vinegar, shallots, and spices. Okay, so let's mix this together and see what it tastes like. I think we're gonna need something like lemon juice in this or apple cider vinegar. That tastes really good. I have a whole bunch of stuff in there. So I think my chives have gone slimy, so we can't use those. <laughs> I have jalapeno, that could be nice in there. And green onion and cilantro, my go-tos. Yeah, I think let's add these three ingredients into the stuffing and uh, see what we get. Make sure you scoop out all these seeds because those are the hot parts. I'm only gonna add a little bit. I can't really handle all that spice. Okay, so this is portobello bacon that I made. I'm gonna chop it up and add that in there as well. Okay, so we're gonna mix all that together and then I'm also just gonna add salt, pepper, and chili powder. So. That is a pretty tasty filling if I do say so myself. I'm thinking I'm mixing regular breadcrumbs with panko breadcrumbs. I don't know why, that's gonna be the breading. I'm also gonna add salt and pepper to the breadcrumbs. Let's add a little bit of smoked paprika to go with the smoky mushrooms that are in the filling. All right, we're gonna need a little bit of all-purpose flour to coat the mushrooms in first. Then I'm gonna add almond milk to another bowl, so that'll be the second dredge, and then it'll go into the breadcrumb mixture. I'm gonna use my deep fryer. I got a deep fryer, so it's much easier. Um, and you could just heat up a shallow bit of oil like this. Should be fine in that, like about an inch and a half of oil in a, in a uh, iron skillet. We fry things all the time, so by now you should know how to do it. And then I'm gonna use the stem, so I'm gonna de-stem, and we're gonna bread those as well. But they're all gonna get breaded the same way. So I would say overfill them a little bit, because you want the breading to stick to this part. Let's hope this works, everyone. We're coating in flour, just dusting it in flour. Shake off the excess, then into the milk. Get all sides well covered up, and then into the breadcrumbs. Make sure they're really packed on there, use your hands. For the stems, I coated them in the remainder of the actual cheese filling. Then I put them in breadcrumbs. Obviously, I don't know if you're gonna make this at home because I completely made up that filling, but 
Now you get the idea of how to do mushroom caps, provided this all works once we're in the fryer. Whatever this dip is that I made though, you could just use this. This could be like a pumpkin cream cheese dip and you could just put crackers in it, it's that tasty. Pumpkin dips are all the rage right now. Yeah, it's like a little mushroom nugget. Let's hope they work. I think they're gonna work. I think they're gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm gonna do four. So these turned out amazing. Only one exploded, the rest are fine. I can't wait to bite into one. The stems that I coated in the cheese are amazing. It's basically like fried cheese. <laughs> okay, and then I was thinking about sauces. I don't think I wanna get too much more complicated. I have so many leftover sauces in the fridge that I'm just gonna say, serve with whatever sauce you like. You know we make jalapeno ranch, sun-dried tomato aioli, all kinds of things on hotforfoodblog.com. That's very loud. And then I think we'll plate this with just a variety of sauces. I'm not gonna um, do anything really other than add some lime juice to my peanut sauce to thin it out. And then I've got a jalapeno ranch and uh, the leftover filling, the cream cheese filling. So I'm just gonna put that out with it as well because you might wanna dip the stems in some more pumpkin cheese. All right, there's our vegan stuffed mushroom caps. They turned out amazing. The crispy, crunchy coating is awesome. The inside is gooey. That one I added more cheese onto because it's the one that exploded. Mm. Mm. You know I always deep fry stuff because you fry anything and it's amazing. Mm. These are really good. <laughs> Oh my God. Now I think the best dip is gonna be, not the peanut sauce, although the peanut sauce is fine, but the jalapeno ranch, which is from what recipe of ours? Oh, our butternut squash tacos. Oh my God, I'm in mushroom heaven. Just stuff me and put me in there. And then I'll eat myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is recipe. And it was pretty good. I started very uninspired, I will admit. And then I found inspiration in the fridge, which is what I hope you do every single day or at least once a week if you're not used to cooking as much yet. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Mm, I probably have food in my teeth, but it's okay. Um, let me know what you think of the recipe or the recipe in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you like what you have seen and subscribe if you're not already here to Hot For Food. We post every single Wednesday, as you know. Follow us on social media at Hot For Food and share photos. If you attempt your own version of a stuffed mushroom, uh, you could probably do a baked version, I would guess, but they're really, really good like this. And whenever I've had them at restaurants, they're always deep fried because they're faster even as well to deep fry them. All right, I'm Audi. bye. Nobody says that, I shouldn't say that. Uh